Hi, folks. Um, happy Monday. I hope you're doing well and hope this message is, uh, is finding you in good company. Um, so I got through your prep tools over the weekend. You should all be receiving um, some feedback on those. And some of you have reached out to me. Um, I just want to remind you all that I'm around if you want to Skype or uh, get some more feedback on your writing. Um, yeah, I'll be around to talk to you about that. Some of the one-on-one -on -one sessions have been uh, very productive, and so I encourage you all to keep um, keep asking for my time on those. Um, so what I wanna accomplish with this video is that we've got our drafts due on Wednesday, and if you check out this video along the synthesizing evidence one, I think these will pro provide some helpful tools as you sit down and start to gather your materials and write them in a more um, paper oriented format, um, moving onwards from that outline. So these two videos are just tools to help you with your writing process and they will be beneficial. Um, no grading or any assignment is required with these except just the drafts and the um, final draft coming up. So um, it's going to become some kind of general prep tool feedback and then some uh, some notes on writing and introductions and we'll have some general A2 reminders um, in there for for good measure. So as far as prep tool feedback is concerned, um, I'm going to switch that I'm going to divvy this up into four different sections talking about thesis statements, audience evidence and development. So I'll start with thesis statements. So a lot of our thesis statements that I read were definitely on the right track. They were getting towards something specific and they were getting towards something debatable. But I want to remind everyone that you your thesis statement has to argue something. It has to be debatable. It has to make a statement or a claim that can be argued or debated. It can't be a purpose statement. It can't tell me what you're going to accomplish. It has to be something that really, really establishes that tension that you're working inside of. Um, I saw a lot of people writing very vague words like better or beneficial or, you know, working well, something along those lines. Um, I want to remind everyone that it's really important to dissect those words. You know, anytime you think you're being vague, you're probably being vague. And that's a really good um, point to kind of just step back and reflect on what does you know better mean in what terms economic um, environmental things like that for your consideration it'll just make it more specific um remember that in our thesis statements we can also include our reasons you know this is true because of this and it outlines those three or four reasons we're going to implement in um in our paper to that's basically going to be the structure of our paper you know each reason is going to correspond with the sub